Traditionally one would improve the resolution of a camera by using better optics that require more components. This works quite well, but only to a point. The additional elements push the complexity of the system to such a level that the design is too expensive to make. Instead of adding more optics, the researchers added more cameras. It sounds like the new 50 gigapixel camera from engineers at Duke University and the University of Arizona was a simple, intuitive, Lego-inspired idea, stack 98 cameras on top of each other to make one big camera. That's the main idea, anyway. What stuff is taking the information from those 98 flashes and organizing it without the camera going up in smoke? That's why it uses about 3% of its hardware to do actual camera stuff while the rest of it goes to wiring that takes the info and gets it to make sense. It represents massive wiring, too. The prototype is 2 and half feet square and 20 inches deep. Each camera takes a tiny, crisp photo that overlaps with the others to create a high-resolution mosaic enough to see someone blowing their nose from blocks away, even if the photographer can't notice the detail at first glance. The camera the researchers built is roughly 2.5 square feet and 20 inches deep, so obviously not the choice of someone trying to capture everyday moments. Interestingly, the majority of this bulk is dedicated to the electronics required to process the imagery and cool the system, instead of the optics and micro cameras. As technology improves though, less will be needed to process the imagery from the micro cameras which will also allow the cooling systems to be removed. It may take five years, but when you consider the camera can capture more detail, and the human eye, it is probably worth the wait. The camera was developed at Duke's Pratt School of Engineering, along with scientists from the University of Arizona, the University of California San Diego, and Distant Focus Corp. The software that combines the input from the micro cameras was developed by an Arizona team at the University of Arizona. The researchers believe that within five years, as the electronic components of the cameras become miniaturized and more efficient, the next generation of gigapixel cameras should be available to the general public.